Today we're going to divide exponents with like bases. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the first thing we need to do, we need to look at our rule. Uh, the rule is x to the fifth divided by x to the third equals x to the five minus three, which equals x to the two. So what all of this is basically saying is that if you have two bases that are being divided, two like bases that are being divided, have an x here and an x here. I need to subtract my exponents. This minus this. The numerator minus the denominator. The top minus the bottom. So I have, so I'm going to keep my base. My base is going to remain the same, but I'm going to say 5 minus 3. That's where I got this from. Well, what is 5 minus 3? 2. And I'm going to bring my base over. Now, now, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I, I have this thing for showing the meaning of what things really mean. So let's look at what does, what does all of this really mean, okay? Let's look at, let's say x to the fifth again over x to the third. Well, what does x to the fifth really mean? It means x times x times x times x times x all over. x to the third power really means x times x times x. If you don't understand where I where I ended up where I where I got the five x's from or the three x's, please watch my video on multiplying exponents with like bases and I'll explain that to you. Okay? So x to the fifth really means x times x times x times x times x divided by x to the third means x times x times x. Now, with fractions you know that if you have the same thing in your numerator as you do in a denominator, they cancel each other out. So, I can, since I have an x in the top and an x in the bottom, they cancel out. I have an x in the top and an x in the bottom, they cancel each other out. I have an x in the top and an x in the bottom, they cancel each other out. Well, what does that leave me with? In the top, I have x and x, and in the bottom I have nothing, so I'm just put a 1. Well, instead of me writing x times x, I can write x to the second power x squared over 1, and we know that anything over 1 equals that numerator. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try another one. Well, what if I had x to the third y to the second over x to the second y. Okay? We, first of all, we know that when, whenever you have a base without an exponent, that exponent is 1. So I'm going to go and put a little 1 right there. Just to make sure every base has an exponent. Okay? Well, if I were to apply my rule, since I have x to the third divided by x to the second, I'm going to keep my base. 3 minus 2 is 1. y to the second divided by y to the first, I'm going to keep my base, which is y. 2 minus 1 is 1. So I know that my answer is xy. Well, let's look at what it actually means, okay? So I have x to the third, y to the second, 
over x to the second, y to the, go to put my one there. So, x to the third, which means I have x times x times x. y to the second means I have y times y. I have three x's, and I have two y's. In my denominator, I have x to the second, which is x times x, and I have y. Now let's see what I can cancel out. I can cancel out those x's, those x's, and since this x doesn't have an x, since I don't have another x to cancel this x out with, then it has to, st it has to stay. And then my y, I have a y in the top and a y in the bottom. They cancel each other out. And so I'm going to end up with y. So now what I'm left with, in my numerator, I have x and y. And in my denominator, I have nothing, so I'm going to put a 1, which equals x, y. See? You got the same thing. Okay, let's try another one. I have x to the fifth, y to the third, and m. And I have x to the fourth, y to the y, and m. Well, Let's break it down and see exactly what does it mean. What does this thing mean? I have x to the fifth, so I have x, 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 and x. y to the third, I have y, 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 and I have m. Alright? I have x to the fourth, x, 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 x have y, y, and m. Okay? Just in case I, w I went through too fast with that problem. I have x to the fifth, so I have five x's. One, two, three, four, five. I have y to the third, so I have three y's. One, two, three y's. And I have m, I have one m, so there's m. I have x to the fourth, so I have four x's. One, two, three, four. I have one y, so there's my one y, and I have one m, there it is right there. So let's cancel some, some things out here, some, some variables out. My x's cancel, 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 cancel. I don't have anything to cancel this x with, so it stays. My y's cancel. I don't have any cancel anything to cancel this y with, or with this y, and my m's cancel. So that's going to leave me with, in my numerator in the top, I'm going to have x, y, y, and in my denominator I'm going to have one. But instead of me writing x, y, y, I can just write x, y to the second. Now if I wanted to apply my 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 rule here, x to the fifth divided by x to the fourth is x to the 5 minus 4, y to the 3rd divided by y to the 1st is y to the 3 minus 1, and m to the 1st divided by m to the 1st is m to the 1 minus 1. That's going to leave me with x to the 5 minus 1 is 1, y to the uh, 3 minus 1 is y to the second, and m to the 1 minus 1 is 0, so m to the 0. 
Well, I can simplify this even more. I don't have to write x to the first. I can just write x. y to the second. m to the zero. If you remember, if you watched the video on zero exponents, we know that anything to the zero power is one. So when I multiply all these items together, I'm going to end up with x, y to the second, which is the same thing. If you notice, the problems are, are getting a little bit large. And so we, hopefully we can start moving from this, from this process to this process. But if you still need to use this process, if you still need to cancel it out, that, that's a great thing to do. I would suggest that. Um, but we want to try to move to using our, our rules, okay? And let's do one last one. I'm going to give this one to you, and um, what I'd like for you to do, I'd like for you to, after I write it, I would like for you to pause the video and then um, solve it on your own. So if you pause the video, and once you finish, please start the video again. Thank you. Okay. So, we have x to the 7th, y to the 8th, m to the 3rd, and we have x to the 1st, y to the 5th, and m. Okay. So, I'm going to, I have x to the 7, so I have 7 x's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven x's. I have eight y's. And I have three m's. That's just my numerator. That's just the top. Okay? So I have 1x. I have 5y's. And I have an m. Now, now can you imagine if instead of x to the 7, what if I, had, what if I said um, x to the... 27th, y to the 38th, m to the 93rd over x to the 20th, y to the 21st, and m to the 80th, okay? Can you imagine all the x's and y's and m's that you'd have to, you'd have to have a whole, you'd have to probably string um, three sheets of paper next to each other in order to write, though, probably more than three, to write all that out. That's why um, knowing the rule is so important because if we know the rule we don't have to do all this but again if this is what you need to do do it okay so let's cancel what we let's cancel some variables out I have an X in the top X in the bottom cancel uh, no more X's down here so I have to leave my X's up there I cancel out my Y Y Y Y and Y oh no more Y's down here, and an M. Okay? So, that's going to leave me with, in my numerator, six X's. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to have one, two, three Y's. And I'm going to have two M's. That's in my numerator in the top. In the bottom, what do I have? Oh, nothing. Okay? So I want to put it over 1. I need to simplify this. So that's going to leave me with x to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. y to the 1, 2, 3. And m to the 2nd. 
Let's apply our rule. Let's apply the rule now. I have x to the 7th divided by x to the 1st. So that's going to be x to the 7 minus 1. 7 minus 1. I have y to the 8th divided by y to the 5th. So I have y to the 8 minus 5. I have m to the 3rd power minus what? Well, remember there's a little 1 right here. So it should be minus 1. So I can simplify this to x. 7 minus 1 is 6. y, 3, 8 minus 5 is 3. m, m minus 1 is 2. Hey, I got the same thing up here as I got down there. It works. Okay, that's the end of this video. Um, I hope this helped you. If you have any comments or suggestions, please email me at methodmoon at gmail.com, and I'll be more than happy to, to um, make those videos for you. All right, have a great day.